I think it might be time to say I told you so. So now taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Duo 2, it's been out for a while. It came out in October of last year, price drop, $9.99, lots of updates. And it's funny because this phone was stigmatized so much, so heavily so by the original one, I really think it influenced a lot of different reviewers whenever they came out with the second one and a lot of people wrote it off from the get-go, not expecting there to be any substantial material here to work with. And Microsoft, I think they did a pretty bang up job when it came to this phone and a lot of the improvements, better connectivity, better cameras, better power, better battery, better basically everything across the board, much better phone. So I enjoyed it since day one. I still got mine. I bought it. Microsoft didn't send it to me. And I made quite a few videos about it in the past, but now that you can get one for $9.99, I think it's a good time to talk about it because there have been a lot of updates. There was just another recent update for June, more connectivity stuff, more updates for the Surface Pen Slim 2, which I also recently got. And actually, I like this. I do like it better than the Surface Pen Slim, the more narrow, better. It's better for writing. And also, you get the haptic feedback and a couple other things. But overall, the Surface Duo 2, I think it's a good phone. I thought it was a good phone from the get-go, which is why I bought it and why I still have it now. And I, I have a SIM card in here. I've had a SIM plan in here all year. It's funny, I have like three or four SIM cards, but this one, I always keep one in because there's so many times I want to grab it when I leave out of the house, when I travel, whenever I'm going out and doing stuff. I like to have it because super multitasking because you get the two independent displays and all the power of the Snapdragon there we go, Triple Eight. when it comes to using this big landscape. You can run different independent apps on both screens, which is not something you can say for a lot of phones. One, because they don't have two screens, and two, you don't have to share real estate. It's not like the Fold where you have to resize and move all the windows. It's not like a tablet where you have one big screen. That's why I always love the Duo, and even the cameras have improved. Cameras improved, the apps improved, and now we have updated third-party support for the glance bar, over here, so originally it was just like text messages and very, very few things you would get a notification over there for, but now they've expanded to third-party messaging apps. So now you can get other real helpful notifications for when you get messages. So optimistic about this since it came out, and I think now is probably the best time to buy one, especially since it doesn't look like we're going to get a Surface Duo 3 this year. And I think that that's a good bet. I think it makes a ton of sense because we're right now into that level of comfortability, and I think maybe Microsoft is onto something here. We don't need a new phone every year. Now, that hurts my channel. It hurts my own individual tech uh, selfish needs and wants because I like having new stuff, but we're at the point now, stuff is so saturated, and I, I think the best way I can illustrate this, I saw an excerpt from the MKBHD Mr. Who's the Boss video the other day, and MKBHD is still using the S21 Ultra, not the S22 Ultra, and when he was asked about that, you would be really surprised to find out that the reason why is because he liked the haptic motor better on the S21 Ultra because he said with the S22 Ultra, he would miss notifications all the time. So when the number one tech YouTuber in the world, basically, at least tech reviewer YouTuber, is still using a phone from a year ago, that's a pretty good indicator you probably don't need to get a new phone every year. And the last generation or two of phones works. I actually like the Snapdragon 888. I think it's a good balance. They got a good modem in here, good 5G antenna, and the 4,500 milliamp battery, the faster enhanced refresh rate. No better time, I think, than now to get one because even a lot of people, a lot of reviewers got them early, and I don't fault them because they were using pre-release software. The pre-release software was not as good as the official update. Day one when this phone came out, 700-something megabyte update, and then the next day, like another 230 meg update. So the day day after the phone came out, basically a gigabyte of updates, which is some substantial material. And even Mr. Mobile went back and looked at it more recently, saying that it significantly improved a lot. So I'm a big fan of this phone. I like it. I talk with my money. I buy a lot of stuff, and I'm not trying to sell you on this. I always say I'm not a salesman, but if you've been interested in this device... I'm just saying now might be the best time to try it out because I think we're going to not get a Surface Duo this year. We'll get a 3 next year, which I think is fantastic because year-over-year -year upgrades just aren't there anymore. Now, there were big upgrades from the Duo to the Duo 2. This phone was absolutely necessary, and as much as I hated it with the original Duo that Microsoft basically killed it by the time it launched, as soon as that phone hit the shelf, they were already dedicated moving on to the Duo 2. 
They reworked a lot here. I like the cameras on here. Yes, they're not the same as the iPhone 13 Pro. It doesn't take as good of pictures as the Pixel 6 Pro, but it takes very good pictures. I think it takes good pictures. I think it's fine with video, and they've gotten a lot better with the interface. They've gotten better with the app support on here, updating, updating the camera, and really making this more than just kind of a tablet you carry around that has phone connectivity. It still is very much so in a category all on its own because it does so much that other phones don't do also, you kind of get the tablet support. One thing I love is being able to stretch out apps for the length of the screen, which is nice. And then also what I've been really appreciating lately, you can either connect an Xbox controller wirelessly or wired directly in. You can plug it straight into the USB-C port on the bottom, fire it up, and you can play the cloud games with Xbox Game Pass. I've been enjoying playing the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game for free with the Xbox Game Pass. Now, of course, you got to pay for Xbox Game Pass to get it, but you don't have to go pay the $25 to get the Ninja Turtles game. So lots of improvements here. A lot of good things to like about this phone. And to me, it's still so nice. Whenever I lay down at night, whenever I'm sitting around, when I travel, if I go on the train, I go on a plane, I go on an automobile, <laughs> joke there, of course, some of you might catch on to that. Uh, but when it comes to this device, I put my eBooks on here. I like to play console games to the virtual console with Game Pass on here. And I love to use it for doing multiple things at once. For instance, I like to use Twitter over here and YouTube over here. So I'm watching videos at the same time. And this really allows me to catch up on a lot because it's not very often I get to sit around and watch YouTube videos. I have other friends, other tech YouTubers, other stuff I like to catch up on. I'll be able to do this. I'll be able to sit there and hammer out my tweets, catch up on my stuff, switch over to Creator Studio, reply to the comments on my YouTube channel, and then at the same time, I'm kind of able to still watch and browse stuff. It's not like when you have to use it in windowed mode, picture in picture, or watching videos on YouTube where you don't even get to see it. You're just listening in the background. This gives you the best of both worlds because you can see what you're doing at the same time in tandem on the same phone. So it really makes for a great bang for the buck proposition because you can do so much at once. You've got the Microsoft apps on there. The handwriting is top notch. I've really been enjoying, especially even using the new Surface Pen Slim 2. Finally broke down and bought it. It is expensive, 129 bucks, and it doesn't even come with a charging cradle, which is really, really annoying. But this one, the Surface Duo 2 is a lot better than the original Surface Duo. It connects on there a lot better. Of course, the Surface Pen Slim connects on there just fine as well. I have both of them. I do find that the Surface Pen Slim 2 is better. If you've got the original one, not necessarily the biggest upgrade in the world unless you just want to go out and pay for it. You want the haptic feedback. I do find that it writes better. I do like the tip on here better. So there are some stuff, some improvements there. But I really think Microsoft has been very committed to this. They've been giving it a lot more updates than I think people gave it credit for. And I really like this device. I think now it's finally its moment to shine, especially as we get around to the year mark. There's probably going to be more sales once you come around to Black Friday. We get into November. Microsoft probably is going to want to move some more of these and get them out to people's hands. People went out like me and bought them really expensive from the get-go. And now it's at a good affordable price for what this device is. I think $1,000 is a sweet spot, especially when you look at what's out there. Pixel 6 Pro, S22 Ultra, Fold 3, a lot of different things. We are also getting ready for the Fold 4 to come out here in a couple of months. So I think we're in a good spot now, even looking like the Pixel Foldable. Who knows when it's going to come out. I've stuck with this one, and I stand by it. I think it's a good phone. So that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please go down to the comment section, and I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you like Surface Duo stuff, then please hit the like and the subscribe button because we're Team Surface Duo 2 here. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you guys next time.